Okay, this podcast is going to go over some uh, properties of binary numbers uh, that let us perform subnetting operations without actually doing any binary calculations. So first, let's talk a little bit about an IP address. The IP address uh, consists of four bytes or 32 bits. Uh, it's written in dotted decimal notation, so each of those bytes is taken independently and written as a decimal number. Uh, but the example I have is 192.168.117. Uh, the IP address consists of two parts. Uh, it has the part that is the network part, and it has the part which is the host part. Uh, the net mask is used to determine which portion is the network portion, and the rest of the address is the host portion. Uh, and when we do subnetting, we basically manipulate the size of the net mask to change the size of the network and the number of hosts permitted on that network. Uh, CIDR notation, uh, you should be familiar with that term. It's writing the net masks as a slash in the number of bits in the net mask. For example, if we had a dotted decimal net mask of 255.255.255.0, uh, that turns into a slash uh, 24 because there's 24 ones in the uh, net mask. That 255.255.255 is 8 uh, bits of ones uh, three times. So it's slash 24. So we're going to look independently at one byte. Because with subnetting, the confusing part is when we have uh, a, a prefix link that doesn't align on one of the byte boundaries. Say we have a slash 18 instead of a slash 16. So once we have a, a prefix link that does not align on the byte boundary, now we have some number of bytes within some number of bits within this byte that are part of the network, and some number of bits within this byte that are part of the host. And that's where things tend to get confusing. Traditionally, you probably converted the address to binary, put a bunch of ones under it, did an AND operation, converted that back to decimal. That's time consuming, uh, error prone, and uh, completely unnecessary. And I'm gonna show you why. So here's some indisputable facts about uh, manipulating uh, numbers in order to uh, create subnets. The starting locations for subnets is deterministic. That means it is controlled by the values of the last bit in the subnet as determined by the prefix length. And for any given prefix length, there's a finite number of places uh, within that block of addresses that a subnet can start. So what does that mean? Well, what that really means is you, you don't have to be confused and feel like subnetting is just some random thing because it's completely not random. If you tell me what the prefix length is, I can tell you all the possible places that a network could start. And if I know all the possible places that a network can start, then I can look at the given uh, IP address that I'm working on or the given scenario I need to create, and I can tell you what all the networks are going to be in that case. And here's a couple of examples. So in this example, uh, this would apply to a, a slash 9, a slash 17, or a slash 25. Uh, for those um, prefix links, you have one network bit in the byte and seven host bits in the byte. So if you look at my uh, binary representation I put up there, it's one followed by seven zeros. So that bit position in the in binary is worth 128. Um, so what that tells me is if that is my last network bit, though that value is the only value that matters as far as my network goes because the rest of it is going to be all zeros. So in that case, uh, if I can only use that one bit to make networks, then there's only two choices. My network address uh, for any of those networks can either be 0 or it can be 128. That's the only two possible choices that you can have for that um, size sub for those size subnets. And uh, to go along with that, I refer to that as having a block size of 128. So you can create uh, different subnets and the size of the block within within the byte that you're manipulating is 128 addresses. That's just a fact based on the fact that it, uh, how binary numbers work. So let's look at another example. Say you have a, a 10, an 18, or a 26. Uh, that gives us two bits for the network address uh, and six two two network bits and six host bits. If we look in binary, you have one one uh, followed by six zeros. So that bit position for the second one, that's the last bit in the network address, is 64. So if, if uh, the last bit in the network address is 64, I know all my networks uh, have to be a multiple of 64. That's the only possible choices. Uh, we have a zero, because uh, we start at zero. The second network can be 64. The third network in this subnet can be 128. And the fourth network can be 192. Uh, those are the only possible choices uh, given that I have two network bits. There's no other possible place that a network could start uh, for a, 
a uh, prefix length of 10, 18, or 26. One more final example. I have uh, slash 12, slash 20, or slash 28. These networks uh, have in common that in the byte that we're working with, they have four network bits and four host bits. So if we look at the binary of those uh, those prefix length uh, for this byte, we'll have four ones and four zeros. That fourth bit position is worth 16. So that means the block size is 16. So that means my networks can start at multiples of 16 for this prefix length. So 0, 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, blah, 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 up to 240. Those are the only places that a subnet can start uh, with these prefix lengths. So it's not at all random. So uh, how does that help you out? Well, instead of doing binary conversions and figuring everything out, now if I ask you, hey, the address is 192.168.83.7 uh, and the prefix length is slash 20, what network is that going to be on? Then you can say, oh, if it's 83.7, it's slash 20, so that means the third octet is the octet I'm interested in. So 87 uh, is closest to 80 uh, being below it, so that means that the network address is 192.168.80.0 slash 20. And uh, the block size is 16, like I said. So just to review, it's not as hard as people like to make it out to be. It's not random. It is very predictable uh, based on the prefix length where the network address starts and where the network address and where the where the next network is going to start. And it should be something we can easily figure out without doing any binary uh, conversions. So if you don't really feel like you get it very well, well that's fine. Um, but hopefully you at least understand that it is not this big random thing, but that we something that we can very easily predict and compute. Uh, so we can use that block size value I mentioned to, to re resolve so many problems without having to do any binary. And if you want to learn how, uh, there is a website I've created, learn, www.learntosub.net, uh, and I've created what I like to call the program that you can work through a progression of different types of subnetting problems that can help you uh, master this, this method of uh, solving subnetting type problems.